I've been able to spend a week with this 2022 Toyota Sienna and I've got some things that I like and things that I don't like that I'm going to share with you real quick. Before we get started, I want you to know this is not a full detailed review. I have a full detailed review of this Sienna. If you want to check that out in the description below, that'll probably answer all your questions about this minivan, but let's go ahead and jump in. Now I want to start things off with my dislikes in no particular order and then I'll go through the good stuff about the Sienna to kind of leave you with a better taste. But first dislike is that low speeds, even nice roads and surfaces, little bumps, I hear a lot of little creaks and rattles in here and I just feel like for a brand new vehicle you shouldn't. Now with the minivan, one thing about it is that it's just a big box. I mean, it's just a big hollow area. So there can't be as much support as like a car, for example, but still there's just a lot of little creaks and rattles, not so much from the dash, but just from all around everywhere else. But the other thing about it is that the ride is relatively firm, more firm than it should be for a family vehicle. Now, an asterisk on that, this is the XSE trim, which gives us a sport tuned suspension. It's far from sporty, but it's more so just firm. And I've noticed this with other Toyotas, the XSE versus XLE is gonna give you a much more firm ride. So keep that in mind. I would go for anything except this XSE trim. And it's kind of a bummer because I think it looks a little bit better than the others too, but keep that in mind. Now, one of the other things I don't like about the Sienna that I wish was different or more available, the fact that this is only a hybrid. So the V6 Sienna of last generation that could last a really long time is gone. You can't get it anymore. It's just available in hybrid form. Nothing wrong with Toyota's hybrid. They're efficient, they're pretty reliable. They can last a long time. But for those of you that still want a regular V6 naturally aspirated engine that you can count on for a long time, you're stuck with just a hybrid. I wish Toyota gave us at least an option, but I'll talk more about this later. Now my next dislike is that Toyota has the worst remote start in the business. I don't mind the key fob. I think the key fob's fine. There's no remote start button on the key fob. You press the lock button three times and then hold it the third time, if it even works. So I pressed it three times and just for example, see, it's not even gonna work. Let's try this again. Lock, lock, lock. It's not, it's the most unresponsive key fob. Lock, lock, lock. You gotta mash it down. You gotta hold it down. It'll start flashing. Then you gotta wait about three years. This is not a joke. This is how long it's actually taking. Okay, it finally started up. Now watch this. Now the only time I use remote start is when I'm loading up my daughter if it's hot or cold and I wanna cool or warm the van. But watch this, as soon as you open the door, it's off. Engine's off, everything's off, completely off. The worst remote start in the business. Now my next two dislikes are gonna quickly come in this back area right here and then we'll hop into the good things and there's a lot to like about it. But the main thing to me is that the XLE trim is the only one where you can choose between an eight passenger and a seven passenger. This is the XSE, so I'm stuck with the seven passenger. That means you get these captain's chairs back here. Some people really like and really want captain's chairs. Some people want a bench seat so you have more seating. Well, if you go for the base model, you're stuck with a bench seat. If you go for anything above the XLE, you're stuck with captain's chairs. I don't understand why we can't choose or have an option, at least more flexibility but you're just stuck one way or the other. The next dislike is how Toyota used to let it be easy to remove these second row seats, these captain's chairs. Well, that's not the case anymore, and I believe it's because of the built-in seat airbags that you can't do that. But, well, you can, but it's just not something that most people are gonna wanna do, take the time to do. So the fact that you can't easily take these out means you lose a ton of capability and cargo space to be able to take these seats out and have just a huge open area. Now I know people with minivans that take them out frequently or stow them away on some brands and just have this huge area for storage and hauling stuff. You can't do that in here. But there is a video, there are people that have videos showing how to take them out. It's a little more technical, but I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna know how to take out these second row seats. 
Now starting with my likes, in no particular order, one of the best things about this Sienna is just how efficient it is. So it can get 36 miles per gallon city, 36 highway, and 36 miles per gallon combined with the front wheel drive model, which is what we have right here. If you've driven a hybrid before and you know how to kind of feather it and use the gas right, you can definitely get better than that. But if you don't drive very aware, you could really drop it down. But at least it's possible to get really good efficiency with this. I mean, seriously, 36 miles per gallon in a big minivan, that's awesome. Now my next like is just how easy and practical it is to get into the second row. So with old vans, you've known how heavy and cumbersome some of those doors are to open up, especially if you are carrying stuff and all that, but every single trim level, even the base model, gets power doors. So you can open up from the inside, you can open it with your key fob, you can just basically touch it and it will open up. But the XLE and higher, everything but the base model, gets these hands-free foot activated doors. So hands-free opening, and even hands-free closing. You just swipe your foot, door will open or close, everything but the base model. Now my next like is gonna start in here. So the fact that there's so much storage and practicality just in the front is awesome. And you'd expect that in a van, but let me show you everything. First of all, the doors, you've got a little storage shelf there, a little cubby right there, a few different bottle holders down here. Even next to the steering wheel, there's a little spot just for you know whatever you want, a little shelf. I put my sunglasses there and it works fine. In the middle here, you've got this bridged center console. You've got this massive area with a rubber liner down there, a 12 volt power outlet. You can stick whatever you want down there. Under the AC controls, you've got this dash, this shelf. So you've got a plug-in, you've got a wireless charger. It's just a good overall storage shelf. My wife loves being able to throw things over there. And then right here, you've even got four cup holders. So there's four cup holders, an extra little slot of storage, an extra little slot in front of there. And then even in the middle, a big center console. And it opens like this because then your backseat passengers can easily get in there. That's awesome. Now my next like is gonna be the functionality of the third and second row, particularly two features. And let me show you. So it's common to have a huge storage area back here and to be able to fold the third row down, but Toyota makes it really easy. You've got this step right here, pull, step, boom, down. One-handed, super easy, no problem. The next thing is the motion of the second row seat. So right now, obviously it's scooted up pretty far forward, but look how far back those seat tracks go. Let me show you. Look at this space. You can have that thing way back there, have all this space in the front. I can sit there, stretch my legs out, and not be touching that seat. So the long range super slide here and the easy folding of the third row, that makes my likes. Now another like, I'm back under the hood, it's the fact that the Sienna can come with all wheel drive. So it's front wheel drive standard, and you can still get all wheel drive available. It's not the same all wheel drive setup of the regular gas Siennas of the past, but you still have electric power available to those rear wheels. So you can get the Sienna in all wheel drive and you'll still be able to get good efficiency with up to 35 miles per gallon combined. Minivan, all wheel drive, efficient, more space than most SUVs. What's not to like there? My next like is gonna be all of the creature comforts back here for the second and third row. So first of all, you've got a couple of USB charging ports right there. You've got a three prong outlet. You've got an HDMI port, a couple cup holders and a storage area for your remote. I say the remote because you've got this high definition 11 and a half inch entertainment system there with wireless headphones but you also have your own air conditioning controls. So even on the base model, you'll get your own controls, but up from there, you'll get four zones. So you and the passenger, or your two kids in the back, don't have to be fighting each other. You can change your own temperature, you can sync it up, you can even do automatic, change the modes wherever it's gonna aim at you. It's really awesome that they have full control of that back here. Plus, even the third row, every row, every seat gets their own air conditioning vent. There's even more. We get built-in sunshades in the second row and on upper trims you'll even get them in the third row if you want more bottle holders there's a bottle holder on each door there's also these built-in netted bottle holders here too there's two more back there on each side plus you've got two more usb charging ports there the other thing is that on the upper trims you can get an ottoman so you can literally scoot the seat way back have your legs out on an ottoman like you're sitting in a recliner in the second row and on the upper trim you can get these seats heated too. So these backseat passengers, third row passengers are just completely spoiled. 
So those are my likes and dislikes on this 2022 Toyota Sienna. What do you like or not like? Now, obviously there's some nitpicking, but there's some real things that could always be improved in every single vehicle. Like I said, if you wanna see a full review of this Sienna, check in the description below. But overall, the Sienna is a great, practical, efficient minivan, great for families. Thank you for watching.